एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन अ ब्लॉक ऑफ मास टू के जी इज पुस्ट अगेंस्ट अ रफ वर्टिकल वॉल विद फोर्स ऑफ फोर्टी न्यूटन को एफिशियंट ऑफ स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन बींग जीरो पॉइंट फाइव अनदर होरिजेंटल फोर्स ऑफ फिफ्टी न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड ऑन द ब्लॉक इन अ डायरेक्शन पैरल टू द वॉल विल द ब्लॉक मूव इफ यस इन विच डायरेक्शन इफ नो फाइंड द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाई द वॉल ऑन द ब्लॉक दिस इज द ब्लॉक ऑन द वॉल A horizontal force of 40 newton perpendicular to the wall is being applied on it. Since the block cannot move through the wall, the normal force exerted by the wall must balance this force. Therefore, the normal between the block and the wall is 40 newton. Thus, the maximum force that friction can apply is mu times normal, that is 20 newtons. Now, if the resultant of forces trying to move the block is greater than 20 newton, the block will move. Otherwise, it will stay at rest. Also. If the block moves, it will move in the direction of the resultant of the forces moving it. The gravitational force of mg, that is 20 newtons, is pulling the block downwards. Another horizontal force of 15 newton parallel to the wall is trying to move it horizontally. From Pythagoras' theorem, we know that the resultant of these two forces is root under 15 square plus 20 square, that is 25 newtons. Also from simple trigonometry we know that the direction of the resultant of these two forces is tan inverse 4 by 3 that is 53 degrees with the horizontal since the net force trying to move the block is more than the maximum value of static friction the block will move also since the resultant of the forces is at 53 degrees with the horizontal the block will slide on the wall making 53 degrees with the horizontal this is our answer To request solution to the questions from H C Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.